Nicholas Fortuno is a criminal defense attorney. He's joining us live from New York City to discuss this verdict. Uh, Nicholas, let me start there. There are Chinese Americans in New York. They've rallied behind this officer. One Chinese American businessman quoted in the New York Times as saying, He's being sacrificed for all the injustices that happened. We just heard from that former police officer kind of saying the same thing. We saw the Eric Garner case, the Michael Brown case. Um, was he a scapegoat? How do you see it? I, I see it the same way. Uh, I think if you look at the definition, the legal definition of manslaughter, he should have never been convicted. He shouldn't have been brought. I think uh, the political winds have pushed the prosecutors in this case to bring this, bring this to trial. The uh, Brooklyn district attorney recently ran for election in that office on the promise of cracking down on police. I think this person it was a scapegoat, and this compounds the tragedy of, of what happened on that night. Uh, I, I don't see that there's validity to the verdict. I think it was driven by emotion. I think, you know, once you're convicted by a jury, though, it's hard to overturn on appeal, but I think there is an opportunity to have this overturned on appeal. Um, it, it clearly was an accident. He was, it was a pitch black hallway. It was dark. The gun went off. It killed someone a floor below. N not a criminal act. Clearly accidental, clearly negligent, but not a criminal act. You know, Nicholas, you say it's accidental. The defense claiming the same thing. Union officials saying this uh, is going to have a chilling effect on policing. Do you think it will? It, it, it's problematic. This is one of the most dangerous housing projects um, in, in the city. The uh, there was no lights in the hallway. The the residents there need protection. The police are going to be concerned about you know putting their lives on the line if if, if this is going to be the outcome. You said uh, there, there's uh, appeals are tough to win. Uh, there's a chance of an appeal. He's if he's found guilty, he faces 15 years uh, behind bars. What's the likelihood of that? Do you think? Well, I. You know, it, it, the judge has some discretion, but, you know, because it's a, a felony conviction, he's, there's mandatory jail time on this, so uh, he, it's unlikely that he's going to get the full 15 years uh, maximum. I think it's probably going to be closer to the minimum in this circumstance. His partner was fired today. Uh, these vertical patrols that you brought up, uh, very controversial. Uh, the family of the victim wants them ended. But also union officials uh, today saying the same thing, that uh, this put him in a position where this accident could happen. Certainly. He's opening up a, a door, you know, with his gun drawn. That's part of He's followed police procedure as, as far as having his gun drawn, but, you know, it accidentally went off because the way he was opening the door and pushing the door open, uh, you know, ending the vertical patrols could be problematic. There's a lot of criminal activity in the, in the stairway uh, in these housing projects. That's why they're performing the vertical patrols. So there are things that go on in those stairways that the police want to clean out and protect the residents. Nicholas, just one more quick question. Uh, sure. Frame this for us. How many police officers actually face charges like this? Because we've seen where the, the, the grand juries don't go forward with it. How often does something like this actually happen? It, 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 it is so rare. I, I, I doubt you'll ever find a case like this one if you research it. But since 2005, of the thousands, and I'm saying multiple thousands of shootings, police shootings, only 54 officers were charged. And just to give you an idea that a lot of this is, is driven by the sentiment of the moment. 17 were in 2015. So prior to that, there's only three or four per year were being charged out of the thousands of shootings. Not to say that there aren't many, many unjustified shootings, but in this case, this young man is paying the price for, for, the, for the failure to prosecute wrongdoing in the past. Nicholas Fortuno joining us from New York City. Thank you so much.